So I've got a question about road disc brakes. Do you want to watch the thoughts on the road disc brakes? Is it a scam? The scam of disc brakes for road bikes? I don't think it's a scam. I've ridden a few disc brake bikes, road bikes, and I do think it's definitely going to be a huge market. It's going to go, the UCI is going to allow it. It's going to be the Tour de France. It's going to be Paris Bay. It's going to, it's going to be the way forward. I was going to say the way forward, but it's going to be the future. You know, it's going to be an option. That's what I should say. It's going to be like electronic gearing. It's not going to totally eradicate rim brakes, but it's definitely like a lot of most, a lot of the top top pros don't even use electronic gearing because it just fucks up all the time. You can't, I mean, you can afford to fuck up if you're recreational, right? I can afford to fuck up or whatever unless you're out touring or something. But if you're in a race situation where you're racing for a big win, you can't really afford to fuck up. Discs, though. Discs, I think if you live in Adelaide, Australia, discs, you could go on them, you could do really need them because it's pretty dry there. But if you live in Thailand or Seattle or New York, uh, Europe, England, I'd definitely be running disc brake bikes, definitely. So I think the European, Asian, wet weather market, disc brakes are definitely going to be a huge, huge, huge market. And we're going to see you know, probably 80% plus, 90% plus of road bikes in the next year or two. Switching over to disc spec, coming out of the, coming out of the factories in China, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, etc. Uh, people are like, hang on, don't make bikes in Cambodia. A lot of big companies make their bikes. Cambodia, Vietnam, China, Taiwan produce probably 90, 99% of the world's bikes, especially carbon. That's carbon that's coming out of China, Taiwan, Cambodia, Vietnam. And they make good shit. They make good shit. But, uh, a lot, especially a lot of the Italian bikes. <laughs> I wouldn't ride in Asia, but I ride Italian. You're a dumb fuck, aren't you? Hey, just because it's made in Asia, doesn't mean it's a bad bike. Most of the best bikes are made in Asia. Chris Froome's, Pinarello, where does it come from? Where does it come from? So, yeah, it's, uh, disc brakes are definitely going to be happening. Um, boiling rotor fluid, boiling rotors, boiling fluid. Pfft, could be an issue for heavier riders. Maybe riders who don't fev their brakes better. But again, this will be a teething period, like anything that comes out, even the electronic. Electronic gearing is going to be a lot better, a lot more reliable in a couple of years' time. Right now, there's you know, some teething. Peter Sagan smashing his handlebars in Paro Bay, or Wiggins throwing his uh, F7 against the wall or whatever, but uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be definitely going to be the future. I don't think that you need to go out and buy a disc brake bike today because you've got wind brakes. No, no, no. But if you're in the market for a new bike, or you live in wet weather conditions, and you commute, or you're do a lot of adventure riding or just cruising around or whatever, then yeah, maybe your next bike, grab a disc brake. But right now, you don't need a disc brake bike. Uh, if it's in the future, it presents itself, then yeah, test ride and decide. So that's my thoughts on disc brake. Post yours down below. I'll see you next video.